But Jody Ihaka reports there are more questions than answers. This is the man proclaimed as the new Māori king. His background, his role in the so-called Māori parliament, have all been kept secret. I am not, not here to divulge his personal life. Te Runanga Oko Huero claims to represent all Māori, but no recognised leaders were at the launch. It is not important to us. It's, it's all about um, self-determination and, and not about having to go and ask Māori leaders that are there at the moment. Today they called him Tairu Waikato Tauranga Whariheri VII. In 1989 he was calling himself Te Riria V. But now a new player has entered centre stage. A supreme leader. That makes me a Tairu or a king. Māori leaders at the time weren't impressed. He was a fraud. The group claims to have overseas funding and wants to improve Māori health, education, housing and welfare, but won't say how. And this morning the group issued a news release announcing a dawn ceremony at its office in central Auckland. But security guards wouldn't let anybody into the building. Māori leaders I spoke with today described the group as secretive and certainly not representative of all Māori. And Māori Affairs Minister Tau Henare says he's never even heard of them. Jody Ihaka, One Network News. Surrounds what's touted to be an independent Māori parliament. The group's leader has claims to a royal Māori bloodline. But at today's launch, questions about his background were regally rebuffed. An unusual spectacle, guards welcoming guests who'd come in anticipation of seeing a new Māori leader revealed. The group claim they're resurrecting a Māori parliament, Te Runanga o Kohuiaro, not in existence for nearly a century. The group claims to have ancient Māori treasures, including a treaty written on pre-European dogskin, a Māori war club belonging to the brother of explorer Kupe, and a carved baton once gifted to King William IV of England. The group offered to sell Free National News video footage of the items. The offer was turned down. Left our camera enough for a glimpse of the new regal-looking leader, identified as the seventh hereditary leader of the Māori Parliament but further details about him weren't being made public. I mean, those sorts of questions, I, I think you should direct at perhaps Ariki and Taipuru. I am not, not here to divulge his personal life. The group's credibility is being questioned. It's rather like a, 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 a mythology, a cult, a mystique that Māori are wanting to grab hold of and uh, as, a, as a way of legitimising this uh, Tinoranga Tiratanga Māori sovereignty movement. The group plans to open its Māori parliament in this central Auckland building early next month. This is Gideon Porter for Nightline.